Hey, Sally, I wanted to um, show you a little bit about what we're thinking for the investigator service tracking form. So anyone who worked with an investigator and provided some kind of service, so any of the core personnel, would go, would have a link such as this where they would um, click on this and it would take them to a survey. The survey looks something like this where they, they put in uh, their name and then the person they're working with, do are they a member of the core or not? If, if they say no here, the next screen prompts them to tell us who the member is, who the individual is and their email address and to go get them signed up. Um, if they say yes here, then instead the next screen will have a drop down list and this isn't populated yet, but this will have a list of every single member on the CTSI member list. Then um, they click which of the cores are they're getting services through and these aren't all just cores there's also the research pathfinder the development coordinator this detail is all stuff that we can change so we'll work with the cores to figure out exactly what the category should go here and so if they click just the biomedical information informatics resource program then when they go to the next page oh you have to say which member it is when they go to the next page it will only show uh, services from that core and not all of the cores, right? So if I go back here and now instead of biomedical informatics, I click the pilot grants and the pathfinder and the development coordinator. Maybe they were accessing all of those and click next. So then it would have services related to each of those categories, but not any they didn't check. Then <clears throat> there's a place to write in. Um, whatever kinds of services they were providing so we get a little more sort of description of what actually happened and what the goal of the investigator was and whether the investigator um, is has generated any products from services in the past so here's a place to say oh yeah they they have published something with support from pilots or support from biostats that kind of thing then so that's all to the service really and then they click next and it submits that one and it automatically redirects them back to a new one if they wanted to do it sort of over and over for several people they provided services for lately so that's what the survey looks like um, we can get any individuals in the cores that we want with access to Qualtrics through WVU and once we give them access, we can give them access to be able to go in and look at the results as well. And so I wanted to show you real quick what we're able to do in that. So we, and we'll train people how to do this. But this would allow someone who knows Dr. So and so is going to set up a meeting, is going to come and visit with them. They'd be able to go in here and through a filter, and we'll set up a filter for all of the members. So they can, you know, when they first get in it, it shows all the data that's in there so far. And you get tables like how many people have accessed each of the core services as well as individual services. Um, but for Dr. So-and-so who's coming to meet with me, I can go in and I can filter it by that individual. And then it will show only responses that were services to that individual. So I can look at a table and say, Okay, let's see, where is it? Here. Here are Dr. So-and-so has accessed services from these particular cores. And I can go down and say, okay, well, where's the write-in about what they actually did with it? Um, so the, the open-ended text response, what were their goals? Oh, they, 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 want, they got data for a grant proposal from Beamer, and they got statistical <laughs> analysis help from Biostats. And, and so that'll give... Um, someone who's working with them a good idea of what they might be coming to them for next and what services they provided in the past. And so also not only this kind of report is available but we can also download the full data set at any point that we want to do analysis of various sorts on it. And it, we can download it as an Excel file, as an SPSS file. Um, so it, it has a great amount of flexibility this survey still needs tweaking right we, we still need to go through and figure out 
exactly what are the right services to list under all the cores. Uh, and, and we'll do that in collaboration with individuals in the core. But I wanted to show it to you in concept at this point to get sort of a yes, go forward, this looks great, or a no, you should also think about these other things first.